Um, I would now like to introduce Sam Blankensee. Uh, Sam is the National Development Officer for the Transgender Equality Network Ireland and is a non-binary trans activist. I am honoured to be here today, to be invited to speak at this important march and moment in Irish history. I am proud to be marching alongside so many incredible women and I am glad to represent the trans community on this stage. Pro-choice issues and trans issues are connected in the fight for bodily autonomy and having the right to make decisions about your own body. So I really appreciate the invitation to speak on this platform on behalf of my community. I was 17 when I first heard about the debate on abortion properly. In my class, my teacher described it as something morally wrong. I disagreed with her. At the time, I disagreed quietly. Worried about what people might think of me. Worried about my family's reaction. I never expected to be here. I never expected to be in a position to end that quiet disagreement. That's what today is for. Each and every person marching here is a loud voice in the fight for choice. I am here today to give a voice to trans people who need the right to control their reproductive systems, to have abortions and bodily autonomy. As a, as a trans person, I know a lot about wanting to have ownership of your own body and what happens to it. As I was growing up, my body started to do things I wasn't comfortable with. My parents and teachers called it puberty. I couldn't live with the changes in my own body and I needed to transition to improve my health and live the life I needed. However, although society accepted my need and was behind me, I needed to ask a number of psychiatric professionals for their permission to do this. To be myself, to live authentically, to feel comfortable and safe. Does this remind you of anything? If I was to become pregnant, it would be worse than puberty for me. I identify as non-binary, meaning I neither identify as a man or as a woman. But regardless of my appearance, my body would change, do the same as it did back then. Change in ways I couldn't cope with against my own volition. By Irish law, I would again need to beg psychiatrists for the right to choose what happens to my body. They shouldn't get a say in a decision I make for myself and my well-being. I know some trans men and gender non-conforming people who would like to become pregnant and have kids. But pregnancy has never been an option for me. In fact, for many transmasculine people, pregnancy is something that will trigger massive amounts of anxiety and crippling dysphoria. And we can get pregnant, sometimes even with hormone treatment. And we need the services that will help us choose what happens to our bodies. I find it strange to be standing here speaking, speaking to you, because although I identify as non-binary, I present masculinely. I believe the Eighth Amendment is a sexist law. I believe it is there due to society's view toward women and the wish to control women's bodies. I wonder if the Eighth Amendment would even exist today if every person who needed an abortion looked like me. Because, because of that, I believe I'm standing here not just as someone who can get pregnant, but as an ally against sexism and misogyny including trans misogyny. Because it is less dangerous for me to walk down the street now than it was when I was 16. Because I don't get spoken over. Because trans women face higher rates of violence. Because people assume I'm not trans and I get more respect for that. I don't think the kids sitting quietly in class disagreeing with their teacher ever expect to be standing up here. But there are so many people out there like I was. We can be silent no longer. We need to start these conversations. Women and all those who can get pregnant deserve the right to choose what happens to their bodies. We need to stand up, to shout out, to get on the streets, to march for choice. We will be forgotten no longer. We will not be pushed back for the next government to deal with. We will speak out, make ourselves heard, and win the fight for choice. Woo!